Well, here we are back again, chapter two, turn the other page. You know, the world don't have to end. I'm starting to quote a RuPaul song. Okay, well, we're back, and this time we're going to see the Lady Oriole. No, that's not her name. Lady O'Reilly, yeah. So, I did go and get myself a mount. We're gonna be riding the Black Stallion. And this is going to help us get around easier and quicker. Don't we look scary on our black pony? Ooh, we also have another quest. Let's see what side quest um, Private O'Conley has for I us. I sent Private Orion down the street a while ago, and he's not back yet. With all these lost souls about, I fear the worst. Orion's a good friend of mine. Could you go see if he's all right? He may be hiding in one of the houses. See if you can find him. Okay, so we got ourselves a side quest to go along with our uh, main quest line. So we'll do both of those at the same time. And I think I see the house there. Yep, that's it. So this little blue icon indicates that it is the quest location. Oh, there you are. Get back on Dead Fiend! Oh, a student, is it? You're a brave one! Connolly sent you to check up on me? I'm well, but I did have a bit of a scare. You look scary again. I was making my rounds when a horrifying ghost swept out of nowhere. I recognized her from the old stories. Lady Blackhope, the Wailing Widow. Hmm. I'm not ashamed to say she scared me half to death. I hightailed it here and shut the door. I can't leave this place if she's still out there. Well, she's not actually outside, it's just a bunch of ghosts, but okay. Black Oak Tower's not far away. That must be where she came from. Maybe something in there can drive her spirit away. So that is our first side boss. Entirely optional to do, but we will be doing that. I remember from playing this for a while that we should level up maybe one, two more times before we uh, try to do that. Just because she has a little friend with her. But I won't spoil too much. Let's go on down the road. Ooh, there's some more uh, uh, dark fairies. Hi. Hi, brethren, sisters, and ghouls of the night. Creatures come forth for a fright delight. Hmm. I should write that down, that's... <laughs> halt! Oh. What purpose brings you into our hedge maze? Well, I'm here to see all the twinks. Where are they? Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. Yes, yes we do. Hi. The evil forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. What is happening with your neck and head? Because this right here does not seem natural. Vile bone cages have appeared along Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious dark magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages, then bring me fairy dust from those it corrupted. It may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be totally gentle. Once you've dispelled the bone cages and collected the fairy dust, return to me immediately. Good luck, young wizard. May the light guide you. Okay, we're using the guiding light. As my favorite quote goes, without the darkness, there'll be no light in me. So let's get these two bone cages right here. Fly free, twink. Fly free. And we'll fight. Hi. Thank you. I was wondering when you were going to snatch me. Okay. 
Uh, so, ooh, perfect. So they're live. So we're opposite schools right now. So this is gonna do a little bit more damage, I believe. Will it do it? No, it did not. Okay, so this is the bare minimum for just trying to understand the game. I see. Well, I just love the dark fairy bell. <laughs> it's so cute and it's purple. Like, purple is my second favorite color. Outside of, like, uh, red and black. Okay, so we need to do two more bone cages, which are right here at the start of where we came in at. So we freed all of the fairy twins. We just have to fight two more. No, one more, actually. Let's see. Let's go with... Uh... Just when I was gonna use the other one, I did not get it. Okay, so we'll just use this one. The highest uh, damage spell so far for the starter spells is the Storm Serpent, I think. But I did not get it this time, which I hate. Kitty! Are we gonna get it this time? Damn. Alright, well, we'll just keep using the Dark Fairy, I guess. That'll be helpful. And... bye! Oh, I can feel the darkness down in my bones! But now that terrible cloud has been lifted... Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Well, I'm glad you felt something, because I thought I had killed you, and I'm kind of wishing that I had done that, but we, we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to keep on moving forward. <laughs> you hear a tiny, joyful voice call your name. Virgo! Oh. Thank you for helping us, kind wizard. Your courage and benevolence will not soon be forgotten by the fairy folk. The fairy twink folk, okay. That was very dramatic. <laughs> Over dramatic. You cemented your reputation as a hero to the fairy folk, young wizard. With the bone cages dispelled, I can help the other corrupted fairies in time. Okay, do I get a reward or something? Now we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me examine the fairy dust. Here? Wait, is this magic powder? Is this why your body movement's so... awkward and odd? Is that? But how? The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic banished from this world long ago. Could it be? Rattle in the darkness? Rattle bones. In life, a ruthless tyrant who was banished to the underworld for his crimes. If I focus, perhaps I can sense his location. Ooh, rattle bones. I love that name. Oh, so much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. Siren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way. Perhaps he can help. I love the darkness. You must hurry. Here, take this broom. It will allow you to travel to Siren much faster. Now fly, and may the light guide you. Fly, my pretties, You'll fly! You'll receive a temporary mount that will expire after one day. You can also purchase permanent mounts from mount vendors or the crown shop. I already got one, but thank you, Gamma. To equip a mount, press B to open your... Yeah, 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 yeah. You must ride to Siren at once. Ask him if he knows of a tower ringed in bones. Go. Ooh, we leveled up again. Yay! What level are we now? Level four. And we have a training pip already? Wow. I thought you didn't get those to, like, halfway to the next world. Interesting. 
They recently updated the game in a lot of early mechanics early on, so I guess that's part of the upgrade is not only the graphics, but as well as the uh, mechanics starting off. So that's awesome. I love that. We really won't need training pips that much. Um, the School of Death is kind of OP in a way, so we don't have to rely on other schools for helpful things. Hello! You were gone for so long, I was beginning to worry you'd run off and joined a skeletal pirate crew! I thought what about it. What did Lady Oriole have to say? Uh, she said that Twinks are gonna rule this area for a very long time. Oriole thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked! Let me think. Which is coming out soon. He's in a tower, ringed in bones. Yeah. Well, the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Ooh, our first boss battle. Oh my gosh. Will we stop this evil tyrant or will we just become bones? I don't know. Stay tuned. Same Fright Time, Same Fright Channel. I don't know why I said that, but it sounded like it was going to work out when I did. But let's go on in. Um, I think we're ready for this battle. It shouldn't be too difficult. Good work, my thrall. This could be the tome Ballister seeks. Now we... What's this? A wizard? Excellent! I could use a combat break. Let's play! <laughs> okay, I'm ready for it. Let's do it. Let's do this! Yeah! Esports! Oh wow, your health is literally nothing. <laughs> uh, let's go for Rattlebones first, because he is... Oh, they're both rank elite. One elites. Okay. We'll take out the boss first, and then... Damn. That... <laughs> that did more damage than I thought it was. Um... That's... Actually, that's perfect. <laughs> Your little Beetle doesn't do anything to me. You should have kept it in your pocket. Uh, we're gonna finish off with death, because why not? Into the darkness you go. Two hits is all it took. There we go. This is the one I was wanting to use earlier, the Thunder Snake. Storm has higher hitting spells, but they tend to fizzle a lot more. Ooh, baby. Sweet, real, sweet baby raise, baby. Oh my god. Maybe I need to change over to Storm. But I do enjoy the darkness and the cold crypts of the Death School. Yay! Explode! Ah, the day is yours, young one. But the Dark Master's plan is already in motion. You haven't heard the last rattle in the darkness. <laughs> in his haste to leave, Rattlebones dropped the tome he was holding. It could be important. Perhaps Saren will know what should be done with it. Okay, well that one's interesting. I love that um, he just kind of walked walk in. back onto Unicorn Way, you can't help but notice that the dark magic that was previously choking the street seems to have abated. Not choking. Oh, I like the fog. That was awesome. I love fog. I had a fog machine growing up. And I may or may have not um, smoked everyone out of the house with my fog machine. 
and I promptly took it back to the store after it stopped working that same day. You did it, didn't you? You beat Rattlebones! Yeah, I beat his bones. Yeah, that's totally perfect. The darkness plaguing Unicorn Way is lifting! Look! With Rattlebones defeated, the guards should be able to drive away the rest of the undead horde. Ooh, that tome looks important. You should take it to the library in the commons. Harold Argleston will know what to do with it. Harold! Here's the tome for you. Ooh. I will equip that a little later on. Is there any chest over here? Ooh, there is a chest right over here. We got us some gold. Gold for your show. All right, let's see where else. The old library. Library. I like the library. It's always a calm place well, to go. Well, hello there. I don't think I've seen you in the library before. I'm Harold Argleston, Master Librarian Extraordinaire. You've been standing here for decades now. Are you tired? You say you recover this tome from an underworld tyrant who is going to give it to his dark master, Malastare? Yep. My, my, I, I, I do believe this is a matter for Headmaster Ambrose. You should take the tome to him at once. You, you just can't take it to him yourself? Uh, but before you go, allow me to reward you for your heroics. Please, accept this treasure card on behalf of the denizens of Wizard City. A treasure card. Treasure cards are special, one-use spells of various schools. You can purchase treasure cards from vendors, or craft them yourself. Mm-hmm. Press P to open your spell. Yeah, well, I already know that. Right-click a regular card to discard it. Then select Draw to bring out a treasure card from... Remember, unlike regular spell cards, treasure cards can only be used once. So, use them wisely. One card is all it takes to fall in love with me. What do we get? Oh, a... Oh, that's a healing treasure card. Okay, well... Mm, okay. The pet pavilion is still locked. So we can't get pets yet. Which I... Might already have one. Or I might not. Stick around to Let's Play to find out. <laughs> Oh, good, you're back. I'm anxious to hear your update on Unicorn Way. Evil darkness summoned from the underworld. Or the netherworld. Oh, my. Rattlebones, you say? But he was banished centuries ago. How could... He... Oh, Malastare. Of course. But why? Why the hell you think not? Rattlebones was searching the Unicorn Way archive for this tome. Well, let me see what it is. On the trail of the Order of the Fan. Oh, my stars. I will certainly look into this. While I do that, you need to attend to the matter of your long-delayed enrollment. Yeah, I am supposed to be a college student here. Um, when does classes start? If you are to truly Yay! master your magical talents, we must induct you officially into our academy. I'll send you now to Mr. Lincoln, our registrar in Ravenwood. He will introduce you to our professors and help you begin your studies. From time to time, you'll see icons appear on the right side of your screen. These are tooltips. Click on a tooltip to open it. Many people throughout the spiral will contact you through tooltips to announce new features, events, or spell quests. If you miss a tooltip, look for it in your tooltip log by pressing Q and clicking the top left icon. So we finally got our first be learn spell, which is a death trap. Um, I will put one of them in for now. Potion flasks, like the one I just gave you, can be used to replenish your health and mana without returning to a non-combat area. If your potion flask runs out, you can replenish it by playing mini-games in the fairgrounds. Oh, and most importantly, make sure they are completely full, with a top on them, or you cannot use them when you need them. 
and put the top on them. Do you want to get talked on? So let's head into Ravenwood and see our new professors. Professor. Ooh. This looks like I'm gonna get jumped. Ah, you must be the new student I've heard so much about. You made quite a name for yourself on Unicorn Way. As I usually do. I'm Mr. Lincoln, and I just have some quick paperwork to get you enrolled. Signature here, initials there, and a lock of hair here. A lock of hair? I don't trust you witches. I'm gonna use a wig hair lock of hair. Are you allergic to unicorns? Or eyes of newt? Good. That takes care of that. To complete your enrollment, come meet your professors. Welcome. I am the professor of the ice school, where we teach thaumaturges to endure like permafrost, withstanding all attacks. While in the storm school, we instruct young diviners to strike hard, fast as lightning, defeat the enemy before they know what hit them. We pyromancers of the Fire School prefer to carefully fan the flames, utilizing damage over time spells. We slow burn our enemies to cinders. Commanding the elements is indeed impressive, but Thurgis of the Life School seek harmony with nature, which gives us the power to heal others. Sorcerers also seek harmony, symmetry in all things. Balance is unique magic from Crocotopia, which supports and enhances the other schools. Not this one being turned backwards. Fireballs and flowers. Fresh magic that. All wizards summon monsters to fight for us, but only the best conjurers dare study the ways of myth. Okay, Mr. Dramatics. Okay. And I'm Malone. Not, um, exactly a professor. <laughs> we haven't had a real deaf professor since the last one turned evil and destroyed the school, so, um... I've met him. Such a lovely professor. But I can get you started at being a necromancer. Our death spells drain health from enemies, damaging them, and healing ourselves at the same time. <laughs> As the official interim teacher of deaf magic, I can get you started as a necromancer. Let's just get out of the way. Do I get a new spell now? Oh, perfect. Oh, look at that giant hole over there. That gaping hole of behind Malorn. Welcome to the crater where the deaf school used to be. Until Headmaster Ambrose finds a replacement for Malister, you can come to me to train. I can even teach you advanced death spells when you reach the right level of experience. Probably. I'll let you know when that is. For now, I've got one spell for you. Ghoul. Train it, then head back to Mr. Lincoln. Okay, so you're saying is we don't have classes for the deaf school, so I don't have to show up. You're already learning multi-pip spells? Oh, splendid! At the beginning of each round of combat, you gain a pip. You use these, like mana, to power spells. Some spells, like this one, take more than one pip to cast. To use it, pass a turn, or cast a zero pip spell to build up your pip supply. Cool! Oh, this is a, uh, this is a very good spell. This, um, takes health and gives us health back. So this will be perfect. Um, so our next one will be at level 8 and um, level 10. Okay. And we have one train. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. So I will keep two of those in, and then later on we'll stop by the store and get us a second deck card. So I can have one for boss battles and one for... Um, just regular battles. You've met your professor. Great! You can train spells in your school for free, but to learn other school spells, you must spend training points. Here, I'll give you one now. Use it to start training a secondary school. And if you change your mind later, see me to buy back training points. Anyway, now that you're enrolled, you get your own dorm room to store items and decorate however you want. This is the boys' dorm here. And this is the girls' dorm. You can also use the Go Home button to reach your dorm room from anywhere. Once you get settled in, report to the headmaster. Okay. 
Well, let's see. Um, I know the only other spell that really comes in handy for death is the ice shield. Which is the tower shield, so I can't even get that right now, so... We'll be back for that, I guess, later on. Bye, Linda. You look like a Linda Evangelista. Your model, darling. Alright, let's head on to Ambrose in the Commons so we can continue on with our questing. We just finished- Ooh, we also can fight Lady Black Hope. So, I think that'll be something fun for us to do before we finish up today. You're officially enrolled now? <laughs> then let me formally welcome you with this new healing spell. Oh, perfect. Let me also introduce you to our resident advisor, Abby K. Doodle. She can tell you all about our many electives uh, when you have time. But on to more serious matters. It seems the troubles in Unicorn Way were but the tip of an evil iceberg. While you were gone, chaos erupted all over the city. Undead run amok in the streets, and our former allies have turned against us. Oh no, not turning against us. Malister must be behind this. Your victory on Unicorn Way makes you the perfect person to deal with this crisis. I foresaw you might save Wizard City. Now's your chance. Really? Did you now? Okay. Go to Old Town and talk to Sergeant Muldoon immediately. We must set things right and discover Malister's goal in all this. Good. One last word before you embark on your quest. I've tried to answer most of the questions you'd have, but there is much more to tell you. If you haven't looked into your spellbook yet, click on the book in the bottom right of your screen. Click on the question mark tab. Many of the questions you might have are answered. Oh, good luck, young wizard. Ooh, another message. Hello. Come to me. I am just outside the dual arena on Unicorn Way. Oh, wow, that's very aggressive. Oh, wow, you look new. Are you new here? Have you met all the professors? Have you picked a school? Oh, oh, have you tried electives? Okay, ma'am, calm down. You've got to try electives. They're a great break from dueling, and you can get all sorts of great things from them. Oh, you just have to let me show you around Wizard City and all the amazing things you can do here. Uh, okay. Follow me outside. This is a side quest. By default, your quest. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. We already know. I'm gonna start skipping some of those because we already know. This is the Commons, a gathering place for wizards of all schools and skill levels. It's also where you learn to wait for it. Fish. I know. We can fish here with magic. Just talk to old Lucky Hookline to learn all about it. Fishing. Every game now has fishing involved. Ah, that's right. Fishing's a great way to find unique items. You can even get aquariums to display your best catches from all over the spiral. And uh, if you're planning on traipsing all over that there spiral, <laughs> give your feet a rest with a mount. It'll really speed up your exploring. I already have one. You should talk to old Zeke whenever you see him. And I swear I see him everywhere. You get training points for helping him. And this is Eloise. She can stitch your gear so you can upgrade it, but keep your style the same. Now let's move on. Okay, I don't know where she went. Uh, let's see. Quest, uh... Oh, Gollum Court. Okay, of course. Excuse me. We make our way on to the Golem of Quartz. This is Golem Court. This place is brimming with excitement. Sometimes, I hear, evil necromancers attack this place. And sometimes, nothing does. Uh, yeah, it already happened. And, oh, oh, there's Farley, the Wizard City Gardener. That's exciting, too. Gardening is indeed exciting. You can raise crops in your dorm or house that yield all kinds of items to aid you in your journey. Gardens also make for prettier landscapes, perfect for the my fact specialty. That you can see him in the back. Magical portrait making, which lets you preserve still images. 
I know, right? There's so much to do here, and we're not even done. But let's take a quick breath. Inhale, exhale, and get back to basics. Because when it really comes down to it, almost everything you do makes you better at dueling. So let's go meet the Duel Master. Speaking of breathing, she needs to use my inhaler because, oof. Ooh, spells. Oh, I gotta be level 10 for that. Okay, so this is where we can get our school spell at. I mean, our school spell shield at. Um, that'll be handy. But we gotta be level 10 for it. Which we'll be able to get very soon. On to Unicorn Way. And while we're there, we're gonna take a sidetrack tour and defeat Lady Black Hope while we're here. Lavert, allow me to introduce the Ravenwood Duel Master. Diego Santiago Corriguez Ramirez III at your service, young wizard. Abby tells me you wish to learn of the arena, yes? Not really. Ah, but the arena, she is not for the faint of heart. She holds a contest like no other, where wizards duel one another. Do not enter unprepared. Oh, don't worry about that, because the next stop on our tour is the shopping district, where you can prepare for anything. All right, so let's go on and ditch her. She won't notice that we aren't there, because she talks a lot. And we're gonna go fight Lady Black Hope. Oh, you got another quest for us. Say, can you check up on someone for me? I usually see Dorothy out shopping by now, but I fear she's too afraid to leave home. She's just down the road a bit, and she usually keeps her lights on. She doesn't like all the lost souls roaming around. Can't say that I blame her. Dorothy Gale. Dorothy Gale! <laughs> Dorothy Dale, you get down here this right instant. I said Dale, but that's okay. Dorothy Dale. I mean, still a sickening name. Dorothy Dale. That sounds like a reporter. But in the sense of, like, I forgot her name from Scream, but that type of reporter. Oh, hello! You say that Private Conley was worried about me? He always does fret so. I'm alright, but I wish someone could do something about all those ghosts outside. Sometimes I wish Auntie M could join me here. I'd feel better with her around. Say, I was having my friends over for dinner, but they are running late. I fear for their sake with all those ghosts roaming around. Could you check up on them? My two friends live on this street, down towards the park area. Look for a house with a light on in the window. You can't miss it. Okay, so we're just doing some look for some people and fetch them type of thing. I love that for us. At least we have a horse now, so we don't have to do all of this. I will jump back once we're there. And here we are. Let's what? Go you say that Dorothy is looking for us? We were just about to be on our way. Okay, Tin Man. Oh, I told you we should have left earlier. Now we've gone and made her worry about us. Mr. Toto, okay. So this is a great example of how Wizard 101 loves to take pop culture and make references that are cute. So Dorothy, the Tin Man, Mr. Toto. I'm sorry, but I cannot find my oil can. You wouldn't want me seizing up on the way there. Oh dear, we always go through this. Can you return to Dorothy and tell her we'll be running late as usual? Well... I will cut back once we're at Dorothy's. They are safe and sound? It's good to know that they are just running late. Now I won't have to worry. I always fear a wicked witch might show up and whisk them back to her castle. This land is so strange. Not like back at the farm. I'll get you, my little pretty. <laughs> but I do like it here. Headmaster Ambrose is such a nice wizard. And my new friends are nice too. I'd say that in all... This place is as fun as a barrel of flying monkeys! Okay, now, that was a little on the nose. Would you say hello to Private Connolly for me? So we finished a second side- no, 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 that's our third side quest, I think. 
And now we're gonna do our first optional side quest boss. Try saying that six times fast. Um, this is gonna be a big one. And she's gonna hit a little differently. But I think we can take it. I hope we can take it. Will we be able to take it? Let's look at our spell. Yeah, but first let me take some of that out. I'll only need one of those since this heals as well, but... I'll put two of those in, just to be on the safe side. You say the city guards are scared of me? Well, they should be! Everyone should be! You better work, Lady Black Hope. They should be scared of me. Malister has opened the seals. The dead rise. Let all who still live beware. My dark master will be avenged. You want me to stop haunting this street? <laughs> ha! Let's see if you have enough spirit to stop me. I'm gonna harness your dark energies for my own nefarious, egotistical means. So let me put this down. We'll put this death trap over here. We'll keep the heal in our pocket in case we might need it. Because you never know when you need to heal. I put a trap on you. And now you're mine. Alright, let's see. This is weak. This costs one pip, this costs two. Um, I'll get rid of this. And I'll use this on our skeletal friend now. And hopefully I'll pull up a duel in the next round. Hey, <laughs> hey, you fizzled. And I didn't, so suck it, pirate. One shot kill. Oh, I didn't get a ghoul. Okay. Um. I'm gonna take those away. I'm gonna take that away too. And we'll put one more trap down, so in case we have to hit twice, I already have two stacked up. 80. 80 was the best you could come up with. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yay, we got two ghouls. Okay, this will be perfect. So it does 160 and damage uh, without any extra added. So let's see what it does with a 30% added on to that. And it's gonna heal us too, so this is perfect. Ooh, 208, yes. And that's why I love soloing as a death wizard. Because now all I have to do is this again, and I'm going to be healed all the freaking way. Isn't that lovely, y'all? Not this. Thanks for the gold. Go for gold. Booster gold. Give me your life essence. Maybe I should become a sound effects. I suppose you have enough spirit after all. Go tell the guardsmen I will haunt them no longer. You could have came and lived with me, but you had to be mean. Ooh, the history of life magic. Life magic was said to have been discovered by the earliest inhabitants of the Ravenwood, guided by none other than Grandfather Tree himself. He instructed his early disciples to plant trees and tend to a grove to learn the complex interactions of all living things. As these early theurges advanced in their studies, so too did their gardens improve, eventually sprouting the sentient spell trees. Not just of life magic, but all the schools. Each tree embodied a new form of magic, a new aspect of existence. It was through their growth, study, and teaching that magical law was tested, explored, and codified. 
Ooh, that was an SAT word at the end. I love that. All right. Well, we have finished that, but it is time for us to end this episode. We'll be back when we turn in our quest and do some more menacing quests along here. And we'll go to the shopping district and on our way to Old Town. But till then, stay safe, stay scary, and stay spooky. See you soon.